Scoring return then for Ronaldo, but what next for his club future? We've learned that Saudi Arabian club Al Hilal are exploring a deal to sign him. Now he's been released by Manchester United. Ronaldo, of course, is a free agent after his contract was mutually terminated last week. United were willing to accept a £300 million move from Saudi Arabia in the summer. Ronaldo says he rejected it. The Saudi sports minister would like to see the transfer happen this time. Who wouldn't want him to play in their league? Uh, you know, he's, he's a role model to a lot of uh, young players, him and Messi. Uh, I'd love to see them both play in the Saudi league and, and you know, top players coming to the Saudi league and play because that will, you know, reinforce the programs that we're doing. It will showcase that, you know, the league is strong. Well, Prince Abdulaziz clearly has high ambitions with Liverpool and Man United both up for sale. He's hoping that both clubs will join Newcastle in being owned by Saudi investors. Manchester United and Liverpool are currently for sale. Is there anyone in the kingdom who'd want to buy them? I don't know. Uh, I hope so. If there are investors and the numbers add up uh, and it makes a, a good business, then, uh, then the private, say, uh, private sector could come in and uh, we will benefit. Uh, sports in Saudi will benefit from these collaborations and these ownership because we do exchange programs already with, with Newcastle and with our connections around the world. Would Manchester United be more desirable for a Saudi to own? Do they have more fans than Liverpool say in Saudi Arabia? I really don't have the numbers, but Liverpool has been, you know, they've, they've I think, increased in the past couple of years. Their performance uh, has been really outstanding and, and, and I think they've increased their fan base in, in, in the kingdom.